Many businesses have invested large amounts of time and money in on-premise security policies and controls. When you work with our open ecosystem of technology partners, you're able to take your existing controls into the cloud and mitigate threats more effectively. To discuss this further, I have with me Vineet Bond, Head of Security Technology Partnerships at Google Cloud, Adam Geller, Vice President of Product Management at Palo Alto Networks, and Ming Chang, Cloud Security Awareness Lead at SAP. Thanks, fellas, for coming. Thank you. Vineet, why don't you talk a little bit about Google Cloud's philosophy when it comes to partnering technology partners in security? Sure. Uh, Google's philosophy is to create an open ecosystem of partners so we can meet customers where they are in their journey to migration in cloud. So customers would have a choice of using Google technology and combine that with best of breed security partnerships. Um, so it will also help in Google and partners working closer together in the future to create the next generation of security products. That will be a lot more easier and automated than what customers are used to having today. Okay, so an easier journey in the future. Meet them where they are, take them forward. Adam, um, as one of the partners in the ecosystem, but also a strong leader in security for many years, talk a little bit about um, how customers are viewing the cloud and how it might have been changing over the past couple of years. Sure, so when a lot of our customers started making the cloud journey, to be honest, security wasn't their top priority. Their major focus was speed and time to market for the applications they were building, and to a lesser extent, possibility of maybe cost savings for a different method for deploying their applications. But those apps really were focused typically on development and test workloads. So the, the emphasis from a from security standpoint was a little bit lower. Fast forward to where we are today, and there's no question the cloud is used for very advanced production workloads with high quality and very sensitive data. So as you'd expect, what's moved along with that is the emphasis on enterprise class security and really bringing along the concepts that were critical in an enterprise data center, making sure those can still be applied in the cloud, but now apply them in a different way uh, based on the capabilities of the cloud environment. Let me stop you there and talk a bit about the, what the key concepts would be and how they're reflected in products or services we're offering. Sure, so fundamentally, if your objective as an organization is to prevent a successful attack, you need to think about four things. You need to be able to have full visibility, and we're talking mostly about network security right now, but this really applies broadly across the security landscape for an organization. So it's four things. It's complete visibility, it's the capability to reduce an attack surface area to a meaningful scope of work. It's to be able to successfully prevent any known attack. You should be able to prevent it outright so you don't have to think about it. And then for things that are truly unique and unknown or novel, they've never been seen before, you need to be able to detect and prevent it very quickly and turn that time around so that it becomes something that you've known already and then you can deal with. Okay, and so those four areas travel with the customer, those concepts, those practices travel with the customer into the cloud. How do things change? The number of touch points, the level of compute, um, and how do you speak to that in the products and services you're offering? Sure, so when we work with Google Cloud Platform, it's, it's the application of those four principles. They change because the environment necessarily is different than what the enterprise controls themselves in their traditional data center. So in Google, we have the opportunity to integrate in from a networking standpoint differently, um, from a context sharing information that we learn that we can share with the cloud platform and what the cloud platform can share with us. Um, and that all adds up to a much more automated and scalable solution that looks very different uh, operationally from what people have done uh, traditionally in their data centers. Now Ming, let me turn to you because SAP has relationships going back years and in some case decades with thousands of companies around the world, really reshaping the way things are manufactured, finance, uh, distribution of goods, all sorts of things. How are the customers viewing security in the cloud and the move to the cloud, particularly since we've started this deep relationship with Google in the past year? Yeah, security is definitely the top of the concern, but also how to manage the security risks, as well as meet the regulatory requirements. And to be in a competitive uh, market to succeed, customer has the choice to move to cloud, which is the best choice that they have about the scalability, the flexibility, uh, as well as the cost and the security embedded to it. What is the priority they have where security is concerned? Protection of data, threat vector, um, changing contexts or styles of work? What do you see? Sure, definitely the, uh, the security, the application security, 
the platform that runs needs to be secure, uh, the visibility that they need to have to manage those security, as well as how are, we, how are they going to meet the regulatory requirements. They need to provide reports, uh, requirements, uh, visibility to uh, whoever they need to re respond to. I want to ask you uh, all a little bit about the future, and I'll start with you, Ming. Uh, where do you see uh, the partnership going in terms of what SAP wants to deliver to its customers? Sure. The partnership is great. SAP and Google are able to create a data custodian a solution which can provide the customer uh, ability to set up the controls that they need as well as the visibility. With the Google's uh, highly secure public cloud and SAP's knowledge and uh, experience on managing the business processes, we can make the customers uh, exceed when they are in the competitive environment. Okay, Adam? So where I see this going is an evolution from sort of the basic, uh, basic integrations and basic starting point of how do I do something similar to what I had in my enterprise data center to how I do it much more natively and much more integrated in uh, with uh, the fabric that Google uh, Cloud Platform is providing. And that typically will hit in areas of automation and scale again. Um, and it's automation from the deployment standpoint and infrastructure, but also then the automation on how I process and respond to actual security events and alerts. And Vineet, where do you see partnership going inside Google Cloud? So our vision is to work along with best of breed partners like SAP and Palo Alto and make security as a driver for migration to the cloud. So as companies are evaluating their migration to the cloud, they can see security posture in the cloud that Google has developed with their own technology combined with best of breed partners is so much better than what they could get in uh, an on-premise deployment. Very helpful. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.